Hello, everyone. I'm uh, very happy to welcome you to uh, the award ceremony for the Accessibility Internet Rally. It's the, I think, 24th annual Accessibility Internet Rally. My name is Sharon Rush, and I apologize that my phone started ringing. Um, and I'm here to uh, to welcome you and um, in my role as executive director of Nobility, we're the producers of the, um, the Accessibility Internet Rally. And usually it's my role to just briefly welcome and thank everyone and then step aside for the important news about the accessibility, um, the, ex the excellent accessibility learning and implementation work that you all do every year by um, development teams and nonprofit clients. And, and that is what I will do again tonight, happily do that. But I'll, I will admit to everybody here that I'm, um, I've been pretty distracted by the uh, attack on the Capitol yesterday, by all the events of last year. And so I'm gonna ask your indulgence to allow me to share a bit of my reflections on the meaning of this collaborative accessibility work, this work that we do together in the context of the year we've had and yesterday's terrible events. Because it's been an abiding comfort to me during the chaos of 2020 that I had this work to do. The importance and value of this mission, which I know is a mission that I, that I share with so many of you, the mission of tech inclusion and equity was just brought into such relief, I feel like, in, in 2020. Um, digital inclusion became critically important. We learned to do, we learned to do all the things, right? We learned to do all the things remotely. We go to work, go to school, go grocery shopping, participate in social and civic activities. We had to do all of those things remotely. So it, there became no question of the need for equal access. So that, that fact was energizing and encouraging to me in the midst of so much that seemed wrong. And, and during that year, I often thought back to September 11th of 2001. And for those of you who've spent time with me this year, I may have already told you this story, but it just helped me so much through the through this year because it was year four of our accessibility internet rally and really i think only the second time we had produced it officially as nobility because previous to that it had just it had been a, a sort of loosely organized community collaboration and our event kickoff the air kickoff was scheduled at Schultz garden in austin for 6 p.m on september 11th 2001 well, after the events of that day, we knew that no one would come to drink beer in Schultz Garden. And so we were surprised by what actually happened because every team and every nonprofit organization showed up, at least one representative from every one. And one of the, one of the fellows who was there said, well, of course I'm here. After witnessing the worst that people can do, he said that he was strengthened by being part of something that brought out the best. And, and so I feel kind of like here we are again, left to contemplate those things that drive people to violence, that drive people to rage. And I think as hard as it is not to be distracted by those questions, and, and their relevance to our lives as human beings. I am so grateful to be here with you and to once again get to experience in full demonstration what it means to access the best that humans are capable of. And so I thank you. I thank you for being here. I thank you for your dedication to this mission. And I, I just thank you for all you do. Every single one of you, whether you were a volunteer mentor, a judge, a developer, on a designer on one of the teams, 
or especially if you're one of the brave community groups that entrusted your message to be rendered and told through the AIR program. I'm so grateful. So whatever part you played, I know that you took accessibility seriously. I know that you devoted hours and days and weeks to learning more about why accessibility matters and how to make it happen. So we're here tonight to announce the winners because yeah, we are a competitive species. But my sincere hope is that you have each gained something from the air experience that you'll take that you'll take with you. And I know that I certainly feel, I feel like a winner for having the privilege of sharing at least part of this awful year with so many of you fine folks. So thank you for indulging me. And I will now resume standard programming, which I'm happy to say is also quite fun. So I wanna start by recognizing and thanking this one woman dynamo who kept all the plates spinning. Jessica Looney did such a fantastic job in the midst of a chaotic and unpredictable year. And if we were all in the ballroom at the awards ceremony, we could give her the standing ovation that she deserves. But I know that y'all join me in thanking Jessica for all the endless details that she managed with such style and such grace. So thank you, Jessica Looney. We could not have done it without you. And 2020 was also a very challenging year for fundraising for nonprofit organizations. Those of you who are nonprofits know how challenging it was and it, it was no different for the AIR program. And I am very grateful to those sponsors who stood by the AIR program in 2020, supported us with their funds. And here's a slide I'm gonna share their um, their information with all of you, so you can you can see um, uh, how how much we relied and appreciate the effort of Barrier Break, who was our very first sponsor this year, Monkey Boy, the City of Austin Cultural Arts Division, South by Southwest, and our friends at at Accenture, who not only became sponsors, but also brought, I don't know, many, many teams to the to the competition this year. So I really want to um, to thank our sponsors for their contributions of time and effort, service on the advisory board, and um, of course, those dollars that help us so much. As well, AIR is led by a group of advisors from the greater accessibility community. And every year we invite a chair who puts their own spin on the approach for that year's AIR event. And I think in 2020, little did this chair know what kind of a year he was in for. But I think you'll all agree with me that if anyone was up to the challenge of 2020, it was Joe. So I'm so pleased to bring him on next and to say thank you, Joe, for all you did to make AIR 2020 the great success that it turned out to be. So please help me welcome Joe Devon, who will tell you more about the many volunteers who made AIR all um, so good this year and who will now take it away. So welcome and thank you, Joe. Thank you, Sharon. Um, I wasn't quite prepared to have emotions uh, when I started speaking here. Uh, but I guess I should have prepared for that, Sharon, because uh, you always do such great work and you're always so thoughtful. And uh, yeah, it's been, it's been quite the year. Uh, I, I thank you actually for inviting me to be a part of this because uh, some of you may know uh, I've had quite a 2020 as well. I lost my mom on Global Accessibility Awareness Day. Uh, so uh, I couldn't think of a more wonderful group of people uh, to spend a difficult year uh, with than um, you folks who, who are so supportive. It was, it's really been an honor uh, to be a part of it um, and to get closer to the nobility, the world of nobility and um, the air rally. Uh, can we go to the next slide, please? Thank you. So we would like to let everybody know that uh, we have hashtags that you can share. So that would be 
uh, hashtag nobility, as well as A11Y, inclusion, digital inclusion, accessibility, and AIR 2020. So if you have anything to say about this evening, please do tag us. And next slide. I think you can go to the next one as well. I would like to thank our advisory board. It's, you've all been very dedicated to this and we could not have done it without such a great group. Uh, and I'm gonna thank each of you personally, Aaron Bramwell, Alicia Evans, Caleb Watson, Jenison Ascension, Jillian Fortin, Paul Adam, Tim Harshbarger, uh, Sarah Horton, Pooja Nahada, Rob Carr, Sarah Key, Sean McMains, Shilpi Kapoor. I'm actually going to miss our regular meetings. So thank you so much for everything that you've done. And I would also like to thank our mentors. Who's on the next slide? As you can see, we have a lot of mentors. So I cannot read all of your names. However, we will be posting the names in the chat so you can all access it and see it. We had 42 uh, volunteers, which we couldn't even use all of them, um, but it was such a strong uptake that we're thankful to everyone, whether you wound up participating in the end or not. So thank you so much. And without the experience of all the expert volunteers, it just would not have been the same participant experience. They really made a massive difference. And if you look at the names, you'll see uh, a lot that you'll recognize because they uh, really do a lot of work throughout the year in pushing accessibility forward, pushing the awareness of accessibility. So once again, thank you. And uh, I'd like to queue up our mentor lead, Sarah Horton, who has recorded a testimonial for us. So take it away. Hello, friends. Accessibility was the spark that gave meaning to my work as a designer. And I know most of you have similar stories to tell of your own engagement with accessibility and watching others get involved which is why Nobility's AIR event is so important and influential. It gets people fired up about accessibility. This year, I was delighted to see some of my previous mentees volunteering as judges and mentors. And that mentor role is such an important ingredient of the AIR recipe. Mentoring is a careful mix of guidance, encouragement, and problem solving to keep the spark from burning too hot or fizzling out. Tim, Paul and I and Jessica and the Nobility team thank this year's mentors for making time for this important work and for sharing your spark and expertise with the AIR teams. So while it might have been a bit bumpy, especially this year, know that you have made a real difference for each participant who now carries that accessibility spark forward. Thank you, Sarah. Uh, next slide. We would also like to thank all of our expert judges. Uh, there are, again, too many to, to name out, but we will be sharing that in the chat as well. And I would like to invite now Rob Carr, who is our judge lead, to give us a testimonial. Joe, thank you very much. Uh, everyone at Nobility, uh, Jessica, Sharon, everyone working behind the scenes, thank you so very much. It was great to step into what for me was a very different role this year, to be on the board and to coordinate judging for the event. The last four or five years, I've been a mentor and a judge and uh, got to kind of go behind the curtain this year and, and, and work in a very different way. Sarah had a great lead in talking about the ingredients for a competition. And of course, you can't have a competition without somebody scoring or, uh, or winning. We're not in a foot race or a wheelchair race where you see the winner across the line. So the judges have a, a huge responsibility and a pretty big task. Uh, we had this year 38 judges who judged sites, which I think is a record for the competition, which reflects the record number of uh, teams that registered to begin with. 
And uh, we, what we do, for those of you who aren't familiar with AIRS, we actually pair judges up, two judges at a time, evaluate each site. All the judges are basing all of their judgment and their assessment off of the same uh, criteria and checkpoints. And if any judges judge a second site, then we mix the pairing up. And in all of the pairs, we try to be sure that we've got a more experienced judge paired up with a less experienced judge so that there's that learning and community building, even through judging, which people hear judging and they think it's very dry and, and that could be some people's experience. But one of the amazing things, not only about air, but about nobility in general, I think is the way that, that things ripple out from nobility. I know for myself, nobility through air and through their annual accessibility conference uh, have been such a tremendous spark for, for myself, uh, have given me great opportunities for meeting people and learning. And that's one of the great things that AIR does. Uh, you know, our developer teams, our design teams, our mentors are looking at building these things. And when we get to the other side of it and we, we do the assessment work, those of us who are in the accessibility space know just how, how important it is to do this stuff right and how nitpicky and how truly um, uh, usually objective it is, but sometimes it is very subjective work. So I can't personally thank every judge enough for their time. We tell judges to expect about four hours probably uh, per site. For some, it's, it's a lot longer depending on the site that they actually judge. Um, so thank you truly, truly for everything that you all have done. And I really do hope from the teams to the mentors collaborating with the teams to the judges working with each other, I really do hope that we see the ripple of community expand out because I do think that that's one of the amazing opportunities that this competition provides is that at every step, the community grows. And we, I think, are all intentional about trying to bring new faces, new voices into the accessibility community to carry that spark forward and to help that spread through uh, throughout not only our dev uh, side, but again, into the judging side and to give people opportunities that they might not otherwise have to sharpen skills, to learn new skills. And like I say, really to, to meet people and to extend their network, which in this field um, is just such a great community as Sharon led off with to lean on and to know that uh, each other is out there. So um, just a huge honor to be a part of it. Uh, I wanna thank again, Nobility for having me. I very much want to, again, thank our judges for all of the time and effort they've put in. Uh, Joe, thank you for heading this thing up. And uh, with that, I'll, I'll turn it back over to you. Thank you so much, Rob. Um, I'm gonna go a little off script just to mention and point out that uh, in case anybody didn't already know, you can click the closed caption button on the bottom in order to see the captions. Um, and uh, do read the chat because there's some really great funny comments. Bouton Jones pointed out that uh, I have a halo here, uh, which was pretty funny. Uh, I also want to go off script and mention uh, thank you to Jessica, who has really put in a lot of work, as Sharon said. Um, I can't tell you how many times Jessica, who was in the middle of dealing with lots of different things, uh, went out of her way to, um, to give whatever we needed. So once again, a shout out um, to Jessica. And now if we could go to the next slide, I'm going to show you the teams. Uh, we had some great teams over here and some great names like Accessipu Squad. I mean, where do you get these names? They're fantastic fly squirrels, Illumineers, uh, just very cool. Um, I hope that all of the teams really enjoyed their experience. Uh, we all had such a wonderful time. And in order to get a little bit more personal, um, I'd like to invite Sumner Davenport from Team Accessipu Squad uh, to give us your testimonial. Take it away, Sumner. Hi there. Oops, I saw our slide there for a second and then it went away. I um, was so prepared tonight to talk about this experience and then Joe, you told me you were getting a little emotional, Sharon got a little emotional, Rob got a little emotional, so <laughs> I'm joining on that one. This is just an amazing experience. I will answer your first question first. Our name of Accessipu. Um, this team are all WordPress aficionados and a WAPU is a WordPress mascot. And one of our team members, Joe Simpson, created a custom WAPU for our team. 
And of course, since we're all about accessibility, we named it the Accessipoo. And it's in the repository with the WAPUs for WordPress. So it's going to live for a long life. Oh, I've got something I've pre-written that I asked my team for feedback and the things that they told me are going to be included here. So they might hear what I have to say, but this is from our hearts. Our mission started in the beginning that it was that we, the combined forces of Alicia and Jennifer and Joe and myself, Sumner, Ron and Colleen, the accessibility champions of the known universe, promised to use our diverse skills and special powers to ensure that nobility's quest for inclusivity succeeds. We accepted this super assignment, a team of solopreneurs with diverse methods and styles, different perspectives to creative problem solving, looking at a scary long list of judges requirements, limited time and an open road ahead. We were buoyed by Nobility's awesome zeal to educate and escalate a whole world wide web about the importance of accessibility. We found the strength to keep our little red wagon rolling to the finish line. For some, it was a new experience to be working on a team project, but each one showed up with their specific superpower, bringing a lot of real world experience and accumulated know-how. Each was assigned a task to match their expertise and something new to challenge them so they were both able to contribute and learn. Our seventh team member, Sandeep, has the superpower of being the best mentor a team could ask for. We utilize Zoom, Basecamp, and email to obtain answers when we felt stuck or confused. He had so much patience with us, especially when we asked the same question over and again. His answers included examples and further explanations of accessibility, user experience, and WCAG. Air Rally has the potential to bring out the best in people. Teams collaborate in a friendly competition that both celebrates the accessibility and actively advances creative implementation of current accessibility principles. It provides a laboratory for cooking the technology to prove that it can be molded and WCAGified all while serving a real world need. Our sincere hope is that each member of our team and every participant in this contest will turn around and sprinkle the message of accessibility out into their worlds, germinating a new generation of accessibility advocates and champions. Sometimes we all need a challenge to reach the higher goals. Nobility's air rally is that and more. And from my entire team, thank you, Jessica and Sharon, for this awesome experience. And I turn it back over to you. Thank you, Sumner. I loved that origin story. <laughs> that was great. Now, I would like to thank the AIR clients. And here we're going to have the list, and it is going to be posted in the chat as well. We hope that you really enjoyed the results, the process, the fun and all of the learning. And in order to get a direct experience, I would like to invite Joshua Levy to come up next and share his experience. Joshua. Great, good evening. Thank you, Joe. I'm Joshua Levy with Joshua Stage and I would like to take a few moments to share with you my experience with this amazing AIR event uh, with Nobility. Our organization, first and foremost, is an enrichment program for individuals with a wide range of special needs, featuring after school programs, summer camps, individual enrichment programs, and workshops and more. We do that through theater arts, arts and crafts, music, photography, and lots of performing arts. The reason I decided to have our organization participate in AIR uh, in 2020 was my heart is right there with inclusion and diversity. Hearing about this event to promote and foster inclusion and diversity for communities to become engaged with the websites and the organizers and so on and so forth is right up there close to my heart. So very delighted that we were able to participate and had a very successful experience in this program. My biggest takeaway from the AAR Air event is the shared vision that all of us do share in promoting accessibility, especially the team I was fortunate to and blessed to work with, the Illumineers. We all share that vision of accessibility for all and for everyone to have 
access to websites, to programs, to the world around us. So it was great to have a shared value system as we went through this program uh, together. I would definitely recommend AAR to my friends and colleagues across the world and the universe if they're out there listening to us, uh, simply because again, uh, accessibility, diversity, first and foremost, inclusiveness for all is essential for a productive world uh, for everything that we do. And the more people involved who feel empowered, and if that can be done through having access to a website to learn more about all of our programs, then so be it. So this is definitely the way to go. And you're going to meet some, I, I've met some fascinating, wonderful people along the way as well, as I'm sure many of you have as well. Uh, the biggest impact I anticipate that our Joshua Stage community will uh, relish from this experience is when they come to our Joshua Stage website, they will now have a greater experience with more accessibility to our website with the color, with the videos. And most significantly, I think on our team, uh, we had our several rising stars. I want to give a big shout out to Natalie, who actually sat and hand translated our entire website into Spanish. And the reason that happened was I shared with our team early in our process that a lot of our families are Spanish speaking and they come to our website and they don't see Spanish. Well, now they will. So thank you, Natalie. And thank you, Team Illumineers for a fabulous experience. I'm proud of all the work that we did and looking forward to many more successes in our future together. Joe, back to you. Thank you, Casey. I really appreciate that. Um, up next, we have got a university experience to share. I would love to hear your testimonial, Casey. Casey hi, Boyle. I'm, uh, hi. Um, I'm Casey Boyle. I'm a uh, faculty at uh, Depart our Department of Rhetoric and Writing at the University of Texas. And I teach a course uh, every year called Access Designed. And pr prior to uh, participating in AIR, the, the, the students would um, learn a lot of the things that, that AIR asked people to do to redesign sites, um, but they would learn them in ways that didn't go anywhere. Um, uh, and all the students always asked, it, you know, if they could do something uh, that was connected to something that they could, they could see out in the world. So sometimes we would uh, uh, caption videos for people uh, around campus, that sort of thing. But what AIR did, was uh, it provided a, a sort of window and, and support structure to allow students to work with uh, community organizations and, um, and nonprofits to, uh, to, to, to learn the, the technical side of accessibility, uh, but also do so in a way that actually created real difference in the world. Uh, and um, I couldn't be happier that we did it this year. And even so, even given the, the, the nature of today, this year's uh, classes and, and that they were all remote, um, I would say every single one of my students at the end of the semester, they all praised that the fact that they were able to do something that mattered in the world. Uh, and um, many of their other classes, they, the people were struggling to just hold a class, right? Um, and this class was able to exceed their expectations and, uh, and this experience was able to exceed their expectations and, um, and they were able to learn um, uh, how to make a difference um, through, through this. I think the biggest takeaway uh, me and my students uh, took away from this is that um, uh, accessibility isn't just technical, it's social and it's, um, it's based in knowledge as well. Uh, and, um, and, you know, there's, there's a lot of different ways in which the, this, my own student groups were working with, uh, you know, um, uh, organizations that, uh, you know, they were limited in terms of um, resources and, and technical skill to continue on the, the job of accessibility. Um, and that limited some of the choices they were able to make um, on, on the front end of making it accessible. So um, my students took away from that, uh, even more than that was that they, <laughs> Many of them might not ever go into accessible design from here on out, but every single one of them said that they were going to look at websites differently from now on. They're going to write differently when they write for websites from now on. Um, and so, um, so would I recommend Air Rally for other students and, and organizations, uh, university organizations? Absolutely, 100%. Um, 
so I just want to thank um, uh, Jessica, number one, for uh, you know leading my students and helping them because they were kind of a, 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 it was all kind of a difficult bunch to keep everything together. Uh, I want to thank the judges for, um, uh, for looking over the work. I want to thank the mentors, especially for providing the support uh, for, these, for these student groups, not only my own, but for all the other student groups as well. Um, and I want to thank the sponsors and especially the donors who uh, provided all the entries uh, fees for all the student groups. I think that was uh, extremely important for this year um, and uh, very welcomed and um, very much appreciated. So um, just thanks to everybody. Thanks to Sharon too. Um, and uh, appreciate and looking forward to hoping to, to do this again next or this year, I guess. Uh, Joe. Thank you, Casey. Uh, that's really awesome to hear. It's something that's near and dear to my heart is the, the universities, the schools, anybody that's teaching today, uh, if we're not teaching accessible design, accessible coding, uh, the problems that we're facing are just gonna keep, uh, keep on going. So thank you for participating. I'm glad that it went really well for you and, and for your students. Um, now, up next, I would like to invite Thomas Lunibos from Accenture to share his company experience. Thanks, Joe. I appreciate it. My name's, um, hi, everyone. My name is Tom Lunibos. I'm uh, president of Accenture Ventures. And, and before I even get started, Sharon, I just want to say I, I so appreciated your heartfelt remarks at the beginning. I think while we are all involved in a really cool project tonight, and I'm really proud to be here, I thought your remarks were very timely and, and, and terrific. So thank you for that. And thank you to the entire uh, Nobility team for everything that you're doing on a daily basis, as well as on an annualized basis. Well, I'm thrilled to be here tonight, um, not just as an Accenture employee, but as a, on a personal level, and I'll talk to that in a minute. But I'm here tonight to represent the 515,000 able and disabled employees of a center around the world. And accessibility is just so important to us. You can kind of tell because we have 10 teams that are involved in, in this process, but it's really important to us because our clients, our global 2000 clients around the world, it's all about innovation. And from our perspective, if you don't have everybody at the table, you can't really create great products. And I, from a long time ago, uh, from my background and experiences, uh, before I joined Accenture, I was a six-time entrepreneur, CEO, founder of Silicon Valley uh, companies. And the personal side of why I'm here is I'm handicapped. I, and I want to thank everybody, all the teams that have participated and worked hard around the world, all the developers, the nonprofit teams from around the, the globe who have done an amazing job this year working to create and update websites in order to, to give people like me access. And, you know, 15 years ago, I was starting my sixth startup company and I was giving a speech in San Francisco and I suddenly became, well, a detached retina happened and I started losing my eyesight. And eventually I lost 70% of my eyesight and for a period of time, I lost all my eyesight. So I was change a life-changing event where I had to figure out how do, how do I access data? How do I access websites? And I cannot thank all the people that preceded my event that were like you guys, thinking about this design at deep levels in, in unique ways that gave me access that enabled me to continue my startup, my company Sosta that I eventually sold to Akamai 15, uh, 11 years later. And, and I was struck um, because I started my career early, you know, 42 years ago and and I was struck with the number one feature that changed my life was Zoom because I did have some vision and the Apple features of Zoom that enabled me to highlight folks things were so enormously important. And I had an opportunity uh, several years ago before Steve Jobs passed away to talk with Steve and, and I told him about how that feature helped me continue on. And he said, you know, I had detached retina and, and, I, and I really cared about vision because of elderly people not being able to think. And, and he told me something that, that re resonates with me to this day that for Apple, and I hope for Accenture, accessibility is a human right. And all of us that are contributing to developing that human right and delivering that human right are noble people. And so I commend all of you. I congratulate all of you. I'm excited to hear the results. I'm hoping, I'm rooting for my team, but frankly, 
you're all winners in my book. And so on a, on a professional level, every, all 515,000 Accenture people would like to thank you. And I would personally like to thank you for all your efforts that you've done before and that you will do in the future to change the game. Back to you, Joe. Thank you, Thomas. Uh, you're right on the money. Um, the tough thing about being involved in these events, as I say, is emotions. Um, you get emotions when you hear people that make a difference in the world. And um, I, I can't even, I just don't have the words to tell you what it means to me to be a part of this organization. So I'm just stealing a moment here to, to once again say thank you. Uh, before we move on to the most important part of our evening. So yes, thanks to everyone that I've met. I've met some amazing people through Nobility, um, including Jim Thatcher, who was a pioneer in assistive technology. So a big shout out to him. And um, yeah, sorry about the emotions, but now let's, uh, let's go on to the most important part where we announce the winner. So I'd like to invite Jessica to join me and in presenting the winners and announcing, announcing the people that will announce the winners. Jessica. Okay, I'm here. Um, I am not emotional at all. Um, <laughs> so uh, thanks everybody, I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I feel the, the exact same way, but I got to hear it all first. So um, yeah, so we're at the winners now and um, okay, <laughs> yeah, that's right. So what we're gonna do here, and I'll just, I'll say this really quickly. Thank you all so much for your participation. Um, when we announce the winners, we'll have one person that'll have two to three minutes to speak on behalf of your, your team. Uh, Typically, it would be a team captain. If you're not here, please feel free to jump in and say something. I think that would be just fine. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, so we'll start with, uh, we've got uh, Arne Bromwell uh, of Monkey Boy, who we've talked about already uh, earlier in this presentation, is going to announce our third place winner. And I believe that is the next slide. Aaron, are you? Uh... I'm here. Can you guys hear me? He's there. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. Yes. Um, we need to spotlight and... you. <laughs> my video is not working. So you guys oh, are going to have okay. to see my lovely avatar. Um, here we go. Start my video. Fine. Awesome. Howdy, everybody. Um, the... well, I'm going to take a second, too, just because there's a lot of love going on here. Um, you know, on a personal, personal side, just real quick, because I don't want to take away from the thunder here just another shout out just to the nobility team you know they've inspired us as an organization to even change the way we do business on a day-to-day -day basis and this program is one of those things that's just continually fueling all of us and it's a great sense of normalcy i think in a crazy world so thanks to all of you and everybody who's a part of it um that being said i'll shut up let's get going um and the winner of uh third place for the air rally is Is there a drum roll here? My Toastmasters training comes in handy. <laughs> that's right. Okay. <laughs> I don't. I don't have the results. So someone's gonna have to look at the slide. It's on, oh, the, digital, it's on the slide. Awesome, digital diversity divas. I'm sorry. <laughs> Nonprofit partner, uniformed meditation. Each member will receive a $25 Apple gift card. Congratulations. Congratulations. Do we get the, how do the digital diversity divas um, come to the microphone? We, we need a name of who to spotlight. So if you're from the diversity divas, speak up in the, in the. Um, yeah, say something in the chat. In the chat. Raise, Raise your, your hand. hand. <laughs> That's a good one. Sally, 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 where are you, Sally? Congratulations, Sally, yay, <laughs> Sally. Hey, Sally. Joe Simpson, are you on the team as well? Uh, 
We spotlighted Joe, but he needs to talk. Oh. I'm mute to talk. So we all know Sally. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Sally. Congratulations. <laughs> Can you hear me? Can you hear me you now? Are. Yes. Oh my goodness, I'm shaking. <laughs> I can't believe this. Are my teammates on, Carmina and Renu? Are you guys on the call? Renu is there. We need to turn on his video. Her. Oh, sorry, her video. Yes, and I, I've been on, on the call in the car. My doctor's appointments today ran late, so I just got home. Oh my goodness, I can't believe this. And is Heron on the call, our amazing mentor that we couldn't have done this without? Hey, hey, Shelly, congratulations. <laughs> hey, oh my goodness, you guys. No, this is- I know, this is crazy. This is so oh, awesome. This is a <laughs> complete- nobility. Oh my goodness, this is a complete <laughs> team effort. I got into accessibility because of Joe Simpson, who started me in August, and Sumner Davenport, thank you, and Alicia, and Jennifer and Ron, you guys have been such an inspiration told me about Air Rally. We got connected to Fabulous Renu, who's in Texas, and Carmina, who's um, graduating, looking for a job, anybody, as a developer. <laughs> and uh, Heron uh, from Australia. We had just all diverse backgrounds, all different experiences coming together. And oh my goodness, Heron, Renu, you guys talk, I'm still in shock. Me too, I'm still in a shock. I just came back from my run and I attended this meeting and I'm not able to believe, I'm shaking. I just wanted to thank you Nobility for giving me this wonderful opportunity. I have met Sharon personally a few years back and I cannot just describe my feeling right now. It is amazing and I'm not still believing. This is wonderful. Thank you team, thank you everybody. Well done team, diverse, uh, Digital Diversity Divas, thank you. Thank you. Yes, and to Nobility and everyone. And it is our fabulous client on the line, Uniform Meditation, two selfless women who are just want going to make a difference for frontline workers and first responders. Is Tawana on the line? Evie, are you on? Okay, well, you know, we can go on forever. I'm so proud of myself. I'm not crying right now. I'll cry when this is all over. But thank you. Thank you, everyone. The Looks like Tawania is here. Yeah, She's they're on. They're both here. Oh, can they say something? I don't know, Jessica. How's the time? How are we doing on time? I think we're okay on time. I think we're good. Yep. Can we let Tawania and Evie say something? Thank you, guys. So much. I'm Can so you hear us? Let's start the video. You want to do that? Yeah. And we hear you. You hear us? Okay. Thank you guys so much. We're so happy. We're just so happy. Woo! Thank you, all. Oh Thank you so much for your hard work. It was amazing working with you all and the passion that you put yes. into the project. We appreciate, we appreciate you so much. We're so thankful. Yes. Sorry about my hair, but yes, <laughs> we love all sending such great vibes to all of you. And we just are really passionate about our work. And we got just um, coupled with the amazing digital diversity divas who were just as passionate and we're just really lucky. So thank you all. Thank you so Happy much. New Year thank to you everyone. for this opportunity. <laughs> yes. Happy New Year, everyone. Yes, thank you everyone. It was incredible. I've accessibility has been on my heart for a year. Many developers told me it wasn't important, forget it, don't even deal with it, but it just kept tugging at my heart. And when you follow your heart, this is what happens. I hardly had any experience and now I'm just so ready to just continue. Thank you everyone, my teammates, Heron, the everyone involved. Just th thank you. <laughs> Awesome. Thank you all. I, I just love these reactions. This is the best part of the evening for me. So, so thanks for that. And thank you, Aaron, for your service. Now, I would like to invite 
my partner in crime for Global Accessibility Awareness Day, my co-founder without whom this would never have happened to announce the second place winner, Jenison Ascension. Jenison, can you turn on your video? It won't let me start my video. Can you, can someone start my video for me? We just clicked it. There you go. There we go. You are live. I hope that you know who the uh, who the winner is so that you can announce it. <laughs> I do, I do, I can. Uh, so I wanna take a, a moment if I could, uh, as a member of the board of directors of Nobility and having been on the advisory board for this particular era, how, how great it has been to, to watch everything come together. So I wanna send props to, of course, Jessica uh, and the, the rest of my team of, uh, on the advisory board uh, to our fearless leader, Sharon, um, to all of the teams uh, who participated, the, the, just the fact that you took time out and showed your passion for accessibility, whether, whether this is all new to you or you've been doing this for a bit of time. For someone who's been working in accessibility as long as I have been, it's just, it's always great to, to get renewal of energy. So thank you to the teams, to the mentors, uh, amazing work guiding uh, all of these folks through um, the problems they might've been encountering and all that, that those things. Uh, to the judges, uh, I, I'm a former judge. Uh, I know how much work it is. Thank you for your service. Uh, I should also say I, I fielded a team back, back in the day. I forget how many years it was, Sharon, that I did that. A lot of fun. And to the nonprofits, look, there's such an importance of you as nonprofits serving the communities and whatever you're doing and the fact that you understand how important it is that you make your programs and services accessible to the to, to the larger audience of uh, over a billion people with different disabilities and impairments. Thank you so much. Thank you for doing that. And without further ado, the second place, and I apologize if I uh, if I butcher the name pronunciation because I wasn't I forgot to ask how to pronounce this, but it's either Team Pika or Pika, uh, who worked with the Red Door Project. So thank you so much. Uh, congratulations to the second place team. Woohoo! Jessica, do you know who? I forgot to give you, I forgot to give you the uh, drum roll. <laughs> yeah, we didn't do the drum roll. That's okay. That's okay. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. You can do the rock and We can do the aftermath drum roll. Yeah, that's right. As they, as they come to the podium to accept their right. award. Woohoo! 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 Vika. So, is there anyone here? Is that I'm Jory? I'm not sure that there will be. Let's see. I think Jory may be from Red Door. Let's see. Hang on. I'm seeing that. I'm looking at the chat here too. Who is it? Who is it? Who would like to join in and say hello? Hi. Do you Jory. see? Jory. Oh, Maria. Yeah. So, Hi. I'm Maria. Hi. I am a captain of Team Pika and. Wow, <laughs> I am I am pumped. Uh, so uh, it's so I'm gonna be a, a pretty quick. I am very thankful for the opportunity that um, Team Nobility gave us, uh, and for the Air Project, and um, it's been a true pleasure to work on accessibility first website and jory um the who represents the uh, red rock project was an amazing customer and i want to thank my team mates i see dylan is on the call so he is a front-end developer one of them um we had Chelsea who did an amazing design and we proved that, you know, uh, accessible website can be beautiful too, right? And with very complex design. Uh, we have Kat and Sammy as well, along me who did the development. And of course we cannot 
make it work without our amazing mentor, Michelle Williamson. So I'm very, very, very thankful for the opportunity. And I don't know if Dylan and Dory and someone else would want to talk. Yeah, I just want to say thank you to Maria. She wrangled us all together. She came up with the idea to do the project. Um, she put so much time and effort into setting everything up. And we were just kind of along for the ride, you know, we let her lead it and she did all the project management and we just kind of went off uh, off of, you know, what, what she, her and uh, um, yeah, the rest of the team, we're just like so indebted to her specifically just for setting this whole thing up. So thank you, Maria. Thanks, Dylan. I appreciate very much. Thank, thank you very, very much. And I think we will stop here. <laughs> Everyone's too emotional. No, that's no, okay. That's all good. Um, oh, Dory, and so Dory. you will know. Dory, part of the team? Yes, hi. I, uh, oh, Dory, hi. Yes. Yeah, I'm with the Red Door Project. I was the client here. Congratulations to Team Pika. It was a pleasure working with them. I just want to reiterate what Maria said that, you know, we got involved with this, with the, with just this interest in accessibility and knowing that we really didn't know anything. And um, it was so amazing to just give the, the Team Pika team, you know, kind of our broad branding guidelines and what we wanted on the website and have them come back with this gorgeous design and have them say, this is what we need from you. And yeah, I'm really, really pleased and really happy to see them recognized in this way. So thank you to the team and thank you to Nobility for letting us participate. Thanks, Jory. Jory. It was a pleasure working with you. Awesome. Thank you, everybody, for your comments. Now I was looking, I was trying so hard to find out who do we have to introduce now for our First, well, please. Joe, you're kind of it, you know. I know. I, I realize needs to be introduced at this point. Um, no, but I did want to mention uh, for the second place winners that everyone on that team will receive a standard Access U uh, registration uh, this year. So please come and learn even more about accessibility, and believe me, it's completely worth it. So. Uh, Joe, I, I was going to let you announce the first place winner. Okay. Yeah, I, I was looking at my notes and I couldn't find it. And I was like, oh, wait, that's because I'm doing it. I was like, who's the next intro? Um, before I announce the winner, I want to mention that every single team member will receive one ticket to South by Southwest 2021. So if you're all ready... The winner is Dynamic Accessors, and the nonprofit partner is the Philippines Foundation. Congratulations. We'd like to invite you to accept your award. So who would that be? Please raise your hand so we can let you speak. I will say this is one of the Accenture teams. I'm just mentioning that okay. just due to the uh, time zone and change uh, so and Tom, Thomas being here and and yes. So anyhow. So Thomas, can you accept on behalf of the team unless we find someone who's awake? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll accept on behalf of the team and really on behalf of all of you guys. Again, I think that this is a, um, it takes a village and, uh, and I not being involved with the team, I, I wish I could speak to them personally. I will tomorrow. I'll try to reach out to them, but uh, having a platform like this is a pretty cool thing. So congratulations to all the other teams and thank you, Nobility, for such a great event and what you do. And, and just more importantly, for what you do. Thank you. And, and on behalf of every employee of Accenture, thank you. Thank you, Thomas. Do we have anyone from the Philippines Foundation? It looks like Hazel. Can we invite Hazel to speak? There you are, Hazel. Yes, hi, thank you. 
Yes, on behalf of uh, Leonard Sanchez Disability Philippines Foundation, thank everyone, especially the development team, the dynamic accessors and Accenture for their support to us. You know, enabling our website to be more accessible and inclusive for persons with disabilities. No words can express our gratitude and thanks for all your support. Uh, we hope that with this innovation, more persons with disabilities in the Philippines and worldwide will get access to more information and uh, programs, support services that we offer as a non-government organization and a disability-focused organization in the Philippines. Thank you, thank you, and thank you. Thank you, Hazel, and everyone for participating. Uh, as, as I say good night, I just want everybody to mention in the chat if you had fun, if you learned something, and if you got something out of this. So I will let you all finish with that chat. I will say thank you once again. And Sharon, Jessica, would you like to say final words as well? Sorry, I'm gonna unmute now. Okay. Um, yes, I, you know, I think Sharon started it perfectly and, and this was, um, this was a really, you know, a really quick experience. It was fast paced. Uh, every single person involved in this and the volunteer aspect um, has been absolutely phenomenal. And I want to thank the advisory mainly. And I know I've thanked them a lot, but boy, do they deserve it. And that's you too, Joe, because um, uh, you, you've been our fearless leader for the advisory this year or this season rather. Uh, and we've had an amazing group of people that, and each one of them who I got to work with individually was just phenomenal. So uh, for me, that was a really great experience. And the teams and the nonprofits, every single one of them, when they first signed on, even though there were you know 40 some odd sites that we had at the time, and, and that was super exciting, even having 28 that actually completed it and went through every bit of the training. I'm proud of each and every one of you. And I, I hope you'll continue your road down the, well, I'll, you know, the accessibility road. I'll just say that. Um, um, the purple one. How about that? We'll go the with the purple, purple accessibility road. <laughs> yes, I'm wearing my purple today. That's right. The nobility purple road. Yeah. No, I think that, um, I'm proud of everybody who's who's done such great work. So thank you. That's it for me. Yes, indeed. Thanks to everyone. We we uh, always try to approach accessibility from the point of uh, creativity, um, design challenge, the things that that engender excitement and engagement. And you all have made that so easy to do. And uh, I can't thank you enough. Thank you, Joe. Thank you to the advisors. Thanks to all the volunteers. And thanks especially to each and every one of you who participated. You're just the best. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. We will see you at the next one. So please join and stay tuned. And with that, I bid you all a good evening. And don't Bye -bye. think you won't hear from me. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Brazilian little